Hi students, my name is Mr. Strickling and today we're going to be looking at how to separate a mixture. Now what is a mixture? Uh, well a mixture is a combination of different substances and we're going to make a mixture right now. The first substance we're going to use is table salt, sodium chloride. Now sodium chloride is goes on chips to make them taste extra spicy and tasty and uh, goes in a lot of food. Now it's a white crystalline substance. It's a pure substance because it's made up of the sodium atom and the chlorine atom which join together and form a strong chemical bond. Sodium chloride, NaCl, has got one atom of sodium and one atom of chlorine bonded together trillions of times over to make these little white tiny crystals. Wherever you are in the world, if you ask for sodium chloride or table salt, you will get this pure substance. Sand is another pure substance. Sand is silicon dioxide. Now let me get some silicon dioxide or sand out of this container. I'll just use my spoon and scoop some up. And there we go. It's a, also a crystalline substance. Sand is. And the compound is silicon dioxide, SiO2. One atom of silicon combined with two atoms of oxygen bound together, bound together in a really strong chemical bond, silicon dioxide. Very hard to pull the silicon and the oxygen apart. And then our final substance that we're going to add to our mixture is iron filings or iron powder. This is really, really fine. It's, it's quite dark, it's quite dark. And iron is an element. Iron is made up of the one type of atom. So I've got a, a, a file here and I've got a piece of iron and to get iron filings, you file the iron and little tiny powdered, um, I guess atoms or powder of iron forms and goes down to that plate. Now, iron, as I said, is an element and it's a metal and an element is made up of the one type of atom. And so the iron powder, it's a pure substance, it's an element. So here I've got two compounds and one element, but they're all pure substances. Compound, sodium chloride, compound silicon dioxide, element iron. Now it's time to make the mixture. So in goes the salt, <laughs> in goes the sand, and in goes the iron filings. And let's give them a mix because a mixture has got a few things mixed together. So there is my mixture. Now those three substances have not bonded together. They're not like, um, you know, like, chemical bonds that are attracted. In fact, they're, they're almost three separate things, just sort of like hanging out in the, in the one place. And so the lesson today is to find out how we can actually separate this mixture into the three constituent components. What do you think we should do first? What should be the first step, do you think, to separate this mixture out? Which do you think is the easiest substance to get out? Hmm, what do you think? Should I use some tweezers and <laughs> put, put it on a plate like this? Put it on a plate like this. And should I get a, a magnifying glass? And should I try and pick out the sand grains? Should that, is that what I should do? What about trying to find the salt crystals and trying to pick them out? Well, that would take forever, wouldn't it? And I probably couldn't even do it because my eyesight is not that good. Did I hear someone say, use a magnet, Mr. Strickling? Oh, what a good idea. I can use a magnet, can't I? Now, so that I don't get my magnet dirty, I'm going to put a little bit of plastic cling wrap over it. Now that's good practice when you're using a magnet with very fine things. So I'll put the, the cling wrap over the magnet and now I will drag the magnet Look at the iron filings on that, on the end of that magnet there. And look what I can do, I'll just clean that off. <laughs> what I can do 
is now pull the magnet out of the cling wrap. Have a look, I'll pull the magnet out. And then the iron filings drop off. Now, now I've got some sand and some salt. How do I separate those two? Well, I need to do some dissolving, dissolving. So I pop, a oh, little bit messy, blow that off. <laughs> so I pop the sand salt mixture into my beaker and I'm going to add some water because water dissolves the salt. Water dissolves the salt. And so now I've got some salty water and some sand. Some salty water and some sand. Now do you know how to separate the salty water from the sand? You use something called filtration. So let's set up our retort stand. And we need to have a, um, a funnel. Add the peg to the funnel like this. Whoop. There we go. And we need something to collect the uh, filtrate. So let's use the uh, conical flask. And I need to actually collect the sand, stop the sand from going through. So I'm going to use some filter paper. Now, filter paper is a lot like a microscopic sieve. You know, a sieve will, a sieve will stop uh, if you pour in some peas with water, the peas will get left behind and the water will come through. Well, the problem is that filter, those holes are too big for um, sand and the sand will come straight through. So I need a microscopic filter called a filter paper. And if we look at it under the microscope, oh, whoa and just focus it, you can see that the fibers, the fibers are interlocking like this, and there's little gaps between those fibers which will let the water through, but will hold the sand back. And so, let me make some fluted filter paper. So we fold up our filter paper over and over, and I might just cut a little bit of it off so that it fits really quite nicely into our uh, into our funnel. There we go. So I've cut some off and I'm folding my filter paper and then I open it up. Open it up and what I can do is I make it a little bit wet with some water. So I squirt a little bit of water on it oh, and I poke that down into the funnel and then I get my mixture of sand and salty water and I decant it, I decant it into, whoa, into the filter paper. And very, very shortly, very, very shortly, we'll be able to see some clean water called the uh, filtrate dripping through. And there it is, I can see my first drop of clear water going through because the filter paper is blocking the sand from coming out and I've actually got a lot of the sand left over there. So now if I dry, if I dry this mixture out, I will actually be left with some sand. And so using evaporation, I can separate the water and be left with some sand. And so I'll have iron filings, I'll have sand, and I've got some salty water. But I don't want salty water, I want salt. So I have to do another form of separation. And we're going to use what's called evaporation. So let me set up the Bunsen burner like this. And whenever you use a Bunsen burner, you should have a heat proof mat. And we can get the Bunsen burner going straight away. So let's light our match. And I'll light my match safely. Oh, before I do a practical like this, What's missing? <laughs> safety glasses, of course. Always make sure you put your safety glasses on when you're doing an experiment. So I light my match, and I can light my Bunsen burner, and then I'll put my tripod on, and I'll put my wire gauze, and the wire gauze helps distribute the heat. And then I just need another, bun another beaker, another beaker, and I'm just gonna put some Clean, fresh water, about half full, about half full. And I'll pop it onto the retort stand 
and that will actually start heating up very soon. Then what we do is I get a watch glass. Now this piece of glassware which is I've got a concave shape is called a watch glass and I'll pop that on top like so and then I get my salty mixture, salty water and pop it on top of the watch glass just like that. And now we wait. It shouldn't take too long, probably about five minutes. And so I'll pause the video and we'll come back soon. <laughs> okay, well, the water is now boiling vigorously. I might turn the flame down just a, a little bit. And as the water boils, the steam heats up the bottom of the watch glass. And that then causes the salty water to heat up. And that causes the water to evaporate off, leaving the salt behind. And very soon, we'll be able to see crystals of salt forming in that watch glass. And this is very similar to how we obtain our salt. Water from the ocean, which contains lots of salt, is pumped into large shallow pools and then the sun beats down on it heating up that salty water causing the water to evaporate and leaving the salt behind and then they come with a bulldozer and they push the salt into a giant pile and then they dry it even further and then they put it into containers and sell it to us as Salt, the pure substance, not a mixture. And look at this. This, my friends, is exactly how we can separate water from salty water. And so we started with a mixture of sand, salt, and iron filings. And now we've got some iron filings, some sand, and some salt. We have separated them using physical means. And those physical means, magnetic separation, filtration, and evaporation. Thanks for joining me today.